Hey there folks, this is the iRobot channel and today I'm going to be discussing about the iRobot Roomba 700 series. Uh, this video is going to be based on how to test and remove the bumper sensors in case they're faulty or uh, you need to repair them. But also help uh, anybody who needs to disassemble the whole Roomba uh, for any particular reason to do some repairs or anything. So the, this the video is going to be whole disassembling of the whole Roomba. Uh, first off, we'll start by testing the uh, if the bumper sensors are faulty here. Uh, usually they go bad um, on most Roombas after a period of some time. So to do the test, we'll go into built-in test uh, by pressing the dock button and the clean button together uh, for simultaneously while pressing the spot button um, six times you should see a red triangle blinking right below the clean button there so press the dock and clean button and press the spot button six times basically you just got into the built-in test and it shows you that all the lights work basically this this is the first part of the test is so you'll know that the uh, the lights all the world all working. You press the spot button to continue to the next test and dock button to skip back or go to the previous test. So this is the next test. It'll show you the clock and the schedule button. If you press them and the dock button lights up, means the uh, the bu that button works great. And if you press schedule, you see spot button clean uh, lighting up. It means it works good. So you press the uh, spot button to go to the next test, which is the uh, bumper sensor test. So if you press the uh, left side of the bumper, you'll notice that the dock button is blinking. Or if you press the right side, you'll notice that the spot button is clicking. If it is, that means your bumper sensors work great and there is no issues with your bumper sensors all right so that said if you're having issues with it uh, I'll show you how to remove the whole room apart so first off let's just turn this off flip the uh, room by right over and start with uh, removing the uh, side brush using a number two size Phillips head take the side brush off Remove the uh, battery door cover by loosening up the big screws here. Tilt it back. Pull on the tabs to remove the battery. Loosening up the big screws on the plate or bottom plate. Remove the vacuum bin. Now you gotta do is just uh, remove the uh, modules. It will help out uh, without pushing it when you uh, basically take the whole thing apart, so they won't be jamming each other on the inside. And when it's lighter, it helps out too. All right, so remove the uh, modules on this thing. Alright, we removed the uh, primary wheels and so now we're going to remove the uh, cleaning head module. So, there you go, all the modules have been removed. Now you can take out the front wheel if you need to. Uh, sometimes the hair skin inside here, you can just with your thumb, just push the uh, wheel out, clean out the hair, just put it back in. So, anyway, I like to remove everything out of the way so the, the room doesn't roll around. Uh, so, now is uh, the hard task that people always have questions with is how to remove the, the face plate or the top piece of it. Well, it's really not that hard at all. 
Uh, when you flip the Yorumba right over, you notice there's a bunch of little holes. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the videos, but there's lots of little holes here. Basically, that's where the plastic you want to push out. So, first off, we'll just start, you know, just remove these two pieces. You don't have to, but I'm showing you how to disassemble the whole Roomba. So, uh, to remove this piece, just put, you know, take it some screwdriver and just gently just push it on it. And then with your thumbs, uh, just go ahead and just pick, pick this piece out. Uh, really easy. So, push this hole out again, the other side. You pull back on this, and this piece comes off also. So there you have it. And then you want to start by removing this piece of plastic first before you do the handle, because it holds the handle. As you'll notice, there's a right between the connectors for the vacuum band. You'll see a hole there too. Just use a screwdriver to push on it. Maybe sideways a little bit. When you push on it, this plastic just pops up right here. So, just go ahead and just grab it with your fingers. Gently just pull it up a little bit. And there I have it. We just removed the, uh, the plastic piece here. Now you can remove the handle by pressing down. You want to push it towards that way. There you go, just remove the handle. Now you want to remove this uh, shiny nice little faceplate. It's also by pushing those two holes here. Just go ahead and push on them. Out a little bit. I'll try it again, just pushing a little harder. There you go. Push on this side too. There you go, so this side just popped out. Continue pulling on it. Alright, now you'll notice that this uh, face plate is uh, latched right over here, right over the uh, bottom piece here. I don't know if you can see in the video. Meaning that this face plate, this face plate needs to come out that way. So it needs to back up that way. So that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. So. There we go, that's how I remove the yeah, shiny faceplate. Then you want to remove the uh, where the keypad is, this cover right here. I like to just use my fingers, just pressing right here, applying some pressure while uh, lifting it up. That way you don't have to scratch anything up. Because sometimes you can stick a screwdriver underneath but you might scratch something. So I just use my fingers, applying pressure just by lifting it up. There you have it. We'll just remove the uh, cover and the keypad display. All right. And what we see here now, what's left, is we got uh, 20 screws we got to remove. Uh, they're all exactly the same. So if you mix them up, it's fine. There's no issue. So uh, start removing all 20 screws. There's one. There's two. Well, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. That will help, really help me out. Uh, if you want me to do some specific videos, um, I'll be glad to help you guys out. Uh, doing any repairs or anything. So. so, basically I'm just removing screws all the way around the whole Roomba, as you'll see them. So, and also inside, so there should be 20 screws all total that you have to remove. So if, if you don't think you've got 20 screws, you know, make sure you count them. And uh, you should also look some around. So that includes also on the, uh, the keypad itself.
there are just six screws on the keypad itself, so. So overall you should have 20 screws, so see. So there you go, 20 screws, which includes the uh, six that are on the keypad. So since all the screws are removed now, just lift the keypad straight up. And uh, take the uh, bumper off. Uh, some of you might wanna unscrew all the screws here, but they remove it. But I have a technique that works great for me. Uh, just applying some pressures and twisting the uh, bumper. Uh, which saves me a lot of time. Basically, I just grab right here, on the basic on the top part of it of the bumper, and uh, I kind of twist it back and forth, and that removes the uh, bumper. There you have it. So now we just remove the uh, front bumper away from the Roomba itself. And you go ahead and lift the, uh, the whole top cover of the Roomba. Alright. Which then exposes the everything that's underneath. So there are two pieces of uh, clear plastic that covers up the uh, PC boards and there are two PC boards that are linked together right there. So go ahead and remove the uh, top piece of plastic and now is you gotta remove the uh, PC board, the first one, just, just prying it up straight up. There you go. Uh, we we'll twist it back and remove the connectors like so so those connectors we just removed uh, one of them goes to the uh, or two of them uh, go to the uh, vacuum bin if it's a uh, full uh, there's sensors here and the uh, two extra clip sensors so we have one here and one on this side all right, so those connectors we just removed. The other connectors are right here. Is your just same as your 500 and 600 series models? They have the uh, speaker, so the speaker is compatible uh, on all the Roombas. So remove that connector, remove the power connector, and the vacuum bin connector. All right. Uh, you can lift the plastic up straight up now, put it aside, and you'll have same screws as the 500 600 series that hold the PC board, five of them. Obviously they're in different location, but they're exactly the same screws. So remo remove those, it's supposed to be five of them. All right, so lift this straight up. Uh, go ahead and disconnect the uh, buffer sensors and the uh, from the battery docking cover or connectors and all the other connectors. So basically all we have left here is connected is the uh, bumper and the uh, line array or IR line array. So remove that part and what we got left here is exactly the same set as a uh, bumper sensor set as used in the 500 and 600 series. Uh, they're exactly the same. There are no issues or anything different. Everything is exactly the same. So bu bumper sensors are the same, the cliff sensors are the same as the uh, 500 and 600 series, as well as, as this 700 series. There are two screws on the bumper sensors. Really easy to remove them. 
So I'll remove those two screws. Uh, two more on the other side. All right, so we'll remove those screws off from the bumper sensors. And how to get the uh, cliff sensors off is the uh, same thing, same principle I use on the 500 series. As I use a flat screw, uh, flat end screwdriver, um, going right between the cliff sensor and the room by itself, both the body. Just gently pry it up, and uh, cliff sensor just come off just like that. There, usually I like to get this metal piece off. A little bit. Get the uh, cliff sensor right off. All right. And there you have it. We'll just uh, remove the uh, click sensors. Uh, if you guys need more information uh, or want to watch the other video on how to put this Roomba back together, there'll, there'll be another link. I'll post it up. So that'll be in the other video on how to put the Roomba back together. Uh, so there you have it. Just remove the uh, clip sensors and bumper sensors right here. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.